Miller, and I would like to introduce you to Medieval Challengers. Medieval Challengers is a limited deck trick-taking game for two to four light strategy players with an equalizer, the launcher. The launcher allows players of all skill levels to have a chance. As players load their launchers, the anticipation grows, each player hoping their combination of strategy and luck will prevail. Sometimes, when you send your units into battle, they don't always land on their feet. Each army comes with a launcher, a two-sided army coin, the crest side, if this lands face up, your unit face plants, and the star side, if this lands face up, your unit is active and lands on their feet. Each army has 30 unit cards. Each unit card has a title, it has battle points, it has unit actions, and some cards have battle conditions, such as enemy effect and delay of battle. Each army also comes with two flags. Flags are used to rally your face planted units to their feet. And two shields. Shields are used to protect you from enemy effects. Now let's see how this all plays out. Okay, so first thing, every player takes their 30 unit cards and they shuffle them up. And they deal themselves 10 cards. Tallest person goes first, they're the initiator, it's usually me. So I'm going to start out with my immortals, 80 points. Oh, well, that's pretty high. I'm just going to go with my caltrops for 10 points, hope he face plants. Okay, we ready? One, two, three, launch! Okay, so as you can see the results here, I face planted, so I would have to turn my card over. But I don't want to lose my immortal, so I'm going to play with one of my flats. I play my flag, I get to turn my card back over onto his feet. I now win 80 points to 10 points. I get to take his card and put it into my med tent. This is going to count towards points at the end of the game. I get to take my winning unit, put it back into my hand to use again. The flag being used is discarded. Army coins are loaded up, ready for another round. I won that last round, I'm now the initiator. I'm going to start with my Kendu Master for 55 points. Okay, I am going to do my Rank Pikeman for 55 points. Alrighty, ready? One, two, three, launch! Okay, so as you can see from the results here, we both face planted. So we turn these cards over, they're still in play, we're trying to earn those. We continue on, since I was the initiator, I play my card first. I'm going to play my 35-point Harpooner. I'm going to play my 25-point Archer, who also has a delay of battle. Oh, goodness gracious. Okay. We load up our army coins. One, two, three, launch. Okay, so as you can see from the results, we both landed on our feet. So these cards stay in play. Because he played a card with a delay of battle, we get to go one more time. I was the initiator. I start, I play with my Ronin, 60 points. I'm going to do my crossbow, 40 points. Okay, so if I land on my feet, I get to win this round. Load up our army coins, the correct army coin. Ready? One, two, three, launch! Oh! Okay, as you can see here, I face planted, so I get to turn my card over. Now we add up the battle points. I have 35 battle points showing. He has 40 and 25, that gives him 65 battle points showing. He wins the round. He takes the losing cards, they go into his med tent, he adds to his points. He takes his winning cards, they go back into his vanguard to be played again. Here we are at the last battle of the last round. Now we count up our points. You take all of the cards in your possession, all the cards from your med tent, all the cards from your vanguard, and all the cards from your reserve. You add up all these cards, not their battle points, and the player with the most cards wins the game and is the winner of the Medieval Challenge.